Just uh, only a comic would understand. My name is Nabil Abdul Rashid from Croydon, South London, and I'm a stand up comedian. Just look, look up there. <laughs> I live with my wife and my two beautiful children. I believe you all of that. <laughs> my daddy is very funny. He is going to get four yeses. <laughs> I wish it was this simple, man. <laughs> I gig anywhere and everywhere. I've done schools, I've done barbershops, I've done a Caribbean old folks home. We spent half an hour just trying to get them to face the right direction. <laughs> worked so hard and I had a lot of ups and downs and there have been times I've almost given up. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I'm so, so nervous. I just want to get a break. It would mean a lot if, if this day went well. It would be something uh, my kid, for my kids to see. They're ready if you are. Yeah. Can we get you on? Come on, Nabil. I just hope I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, my name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and I'm from Croydon, South London. Great! Hey, up Croydon. How old are you? Uh, I'm 34. 34. Why are you here today? Um, I've spent so much time doing other stuff, but now I want to pursue this. It's going to give me a chance to chase my dream and spend more time with my kids. <laughs> but you've been harboring a dream, have you, for the oh, whole yes. of your life? Oh yes. Or a nightmare, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> I mean. Well, look, we don't know what you're going to do. We like to be surprised. So, Nabil, take it away. So, Sky and all people, you all right? Yeah. In case you haven't figured it out, yes, I am a stand-up comic. My name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and uh, I am a Muslim, which is something... Woo. I'm not going to lie, that's not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> I have to announce that I'm Muslim because people never seem to realize I am until it's too late. <laughs> Recently, like, it was my birthday, right? So my colleagues found out it was my birthday. One of them was like, yo, fam! <laughs> it's your birthday, can't say nothing, fam. Say nothing, fam. Man's got you, fam. Man's got a surprise for you, rude man. <laughs> I said, why are you talking like that? You're Irish. And he said... <laughs> Took me out. Where did he take me? A bar for a cocktail party. I'm like, bro, you know I don't drink. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do the Muslim thing, but it's your birthday, rude boy. Loosen up. <laughs> It's my birthday, so what next? Hey, Nabil, I know you have a nut allergy, but you see this peanut butter sandwich, fam? It's banging! <laughs> Loosen up! It's good, man. Because people tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently, I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently. They wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group like, hey, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Sheikh I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shish Kebab. <laughs> but I'm I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means now, my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> <laughs> the annoying thing about being Muslim in 21st century Britain is you know the MI5 prevent and home office listening on your phone calls, but they don't go halves on the bill. <laughs> they follow you on Twitter, they don't retweet. <laughs> they follow you on Facebook, but they don't poke. Well, not on Facebook, they poke you at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I give you all I'm 
Fantastic. The writing is perfect, the delivery is perfect. I want to say thank you for coming on this show and, and bringing this style of humour because it makes the show grow. I didn't think I was going to do that today, but it just felt right. You are a breath of fresh air. Give me <laughs> well, Laville. Someone had to press the go, brother. I mean, if they didn't, I would have had to go up there myself. I would have to run down there and press it myself. <laughs> what happened? I got a golden buzzer. Oh, my gosh! Can't believe it, man. Hey guys, I'm Alicia Dixon, I was your favourite judge on Britain's Got Talent and I'm over here in America doing America's Got Talent. You know what, it kind of looks like I'm really good friends with Simon Cowell. <laughs> For more of these videos from Talent Recap, all you need to do, hit that button below to subscribe.